guys welcome back to my channel okay we are doing a video that i have been saying i'm going to film for quite a while now like i want to say five or six months and i just have not done it until now and that is doing a one week one palette with the bh cosmetics smitten in switzerland palette you guys asked for this a while ago and i kept saying it's coming it's coming it's coming and it's here Finally, I'm going to be making five different looks with this palette right here. I'm actually really excited. I genuinely love this palette. I wasn't not doing the video because I didn't want to or I don't like the palette. I just, I felt like other things were more pressing. We're finally doing it today. I'm excited to sit down all this week, create five looks with this beautiful palette, show you its versatility, show you the different types of looks you can make with it. So before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And learn that if you're excited and you want to see a one week one palette with this palette right here then let's go ahead and get started so this is what the outside of the palette looks like it's really cute and pretty i have never been to switzerland but i wouldn't say no to a trip there not gonna lie maybe one day i will get there and then the inside of this palette is just stunning like it is beautiful there are so many different shades and tones that you can go in and color stories you can really make five different versatile looks out of this which i'm hopefully going to show you that this week but there's still shades that i feel like are wearable and you can make wearable quote unquote looks obviously you do you do whatever you want wear whatever you want but i feel like these are nice toned down shades that aren't too poppy and punchy aren't too intimidating or scary so i'm so excited to be playing with this all this week again i really do love this palette i love bh cosmetics i know that they are a really great brand that gives you really good performing products for a affordable price tag in my opinion i want to say this retails for 16 dollars in a 16 pan so you get a dollar pan that's not bad um and a lot of times they are on sale so we are going to start off with this fondue shade right here and put that into my crease i'll go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room if you have not heard the news bh cosmetics filed for a bankruptcy a little bit ago a few weeks ago i'm not entirely sure what that means for the future of the company i was trying to research it before i sat down to film this so I could maybe give you guys some information about it. So they did file for chapter 11 bankruptcy. They stated that essentially they're just like not profitable or as profitable as they were. Obviously the pandemic really changed how much people were buying makeup. I'm sure a lot of brands sadly are suffering right now. I guess they made like $55 million in 2019 they said and then they were down to 33 million in 2020. Obviously I don't know what they made in 2021. They didn't say that from what I could see. Um, and that's a huge dip in numbers from 55 million to 33 million they were saying that they were putting a lot of emphasis on their recent collabs they recently collabed with the doja cat and iggy azalea and they didn't do as well as they were anticipating which i hate to say this i hate to say this i'm not surprised i'm not surprised that a collab with iggy azalea and a collab with doja cat didn't do well I, I maybe that's me being petty but like i'm just i'm not surprised all right next we're going to take this shade right down here which is called matterhorn when i worked at alta i worked at the same time that the iggy azalea a collab came out and it did not do well in the store i worked at at all i personally didn't really ring too too much i wasn't on the register very often it was mainly um on the floor helping sell um but when i did ring i don't remember ever ringing out anything from that collection um to anyone and i don't even think we got the doja cat collection and when we had the iggy zaley one it was like back in the corner it wasn't really on like display i mean it was on a display but it like wasn't front and center or anything like that and i don't know i just don't i just didn't do very well also i read that they pushed back a skincare line launch to really put emphasis on those two collabs which I don't think would have really done that great either if i'm being honest um i know quite a few drugstore brands have started to come out with skincare lines and the only one that i have really seen be successful and gotten a lot of attention and a lot of reviews and positive remarks about it is the elf um skincare lines i personally have tried quite a few of their products and really like it but i know a couple other brands like juvia's place came out with juvia skin and i want to say makeup revolution has like a skincare line what doesn't that brand have if i'm being honest they have like a million like sister companies and i don't even know i can't keep up but i don't think that would have really done well either so i couldn't find a definite answer if they are like obviously they are filing bankruptcy but that doesn't mean that they have to shut down their doors. I mean, I feel like companies, not all the time, but all the time file for bankruptcy and they don't 
shut down and like stop making makeup or stop doing whatever they're doing whatever the company is um it's just kind of a way to reset i think and maybe start over um so i couldn't find a definite answer if they are just doing that or if they're kind of like gonna do what becca did and just like shut down and not make makeup anymore um i did also read that they are selling their intellectual properties for 4.3 i want to say billion dollars i don't know really what that means i don't know who they're selling it to or what they're selling or that's a lot of money. I, I, so yeah, I don't know. That's probably all the information I have for you guys. I don't know anything about legalities or logistics or anything like that. So that's just kind of what I read from a couple articles in Reddit. But I'm bummed because I actually really do like BH Cosmetics. I think that their palettes are beautiful. The couple that I own from them. I mean, this one is one of my favorites. I also have Hanging in Hawaii and um, Avocado Toast. So I think that, you know, they're a really great brand. I think maybe they should have put a little bit more emphasis on this travel series instead of trying to do collabs with people that aren't really relevant anymore sorry um so yeah i don't know i'm bummed i hope they don't like shut down their doors forever but i guess time will tell if you know more information let me know down below in the comments please because i try like i said i tried to research and look up and read what i could um but that's really all i got for you sadly okay now back to actually like the eye look that i'm making and talking about this palette right here i think that both of those shades blended out very nicely that fondue and matterhorn shade next though we're gonna take a little bit of this chocolate shade right here i just want to deepen this outer corner a tiny bit I don't really want to cover the orange up, but I want it to be have more dimension. So we're just going to pack a little bit here and then go back in with that orange shade and bring it back. Looking a little Halloween-y, but that's okay. Next, I'm going to take my NYX glitter primer right here. We're going to put it all over the inner half of my lid. And then I'm going to take this Geneva shade. All right, nope, where is it at? Hold on. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> I'm going to take this Geneva shade right here and we're going to put that on my lid. It's like a really pretty goldy sort of orangey shade. I like this. I feel like BH's shimmers are definitely my favorite formulation from them. I mean, their mattes are pretty good as well, but their shimmers are usually pretty stunning. Ooh, okay, I like that. I do still want it to be more orange though. Well, I guess, um, I guess it is pretty orange. But we're just going to add a little bit more of that Matterhorn shade. And then take that fondue shade and really blend it out. Ooh, okay, I like that. It's kind of like a folly sort of look, which I am never mad at. I love fall makeup all year around. So that is where I'm gonna keep the eye there for now. You guys know the drill. This is my ninth, tenth, eleventh one week fun palette. I don't know. I will have my playlist linked down below in case you miss the other ones and want to check it out and like this style of video. But I'm gonna go do the other eye, the rest of my makeup. I think I'm gonna add a brown wing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day one. Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see. I actually really, really like how this look turned out. I love how that orange Matterhorn shade and that Geneva like shimmer shade goes together. This is like a little bit bronzier, but has a hint of orange and it brings out the orangeness of the crease. I'm actually really, really enjoying this look. All I did to finish it up was I ran a little bit of that chocolate shade with a flat definer brush and then I mixed together that Matterhorn and that fondue shade together for my lower lash line. I then used ColourPop Flexitarian as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. That is something that this palette lacks is a inner corner highlight for me that is shimmer. They have this snow cap shade up here, but it is a matte and I just don't really use these type of shades very often in a palette. So I wish that there was a more shimmer light inner corner and brow bone highlight but that is all right it's not the end of the world <laughs> for the rest of my makeup i use my ColourPop pretty fresh primer all over the face and then my elf poreless putty in my t-zone then for foundation i went in with my nars soft matte complete foundation in the shade light to mont blanc i use my shiseido concealer i then used my um half cake candy paint in the shade morning view as a bronzer and then set down my whole face with my flower powder from beauty bakery i didn't add any powder bronzer on top of the cream after i set it down then for blush i went in with my mac go glow play sorry glow play blush in the shade so natural for a highlight i used my charlotte tilbury beauty light wand easy highlighter in the shade spotlight brows are my winky lux unibrow brow pencil and then my benefit 24 hour brow setter these are going to be the ones that i'm going to use all week they're my project pan 
brows are not exciting. I'm probably not going to mention them any other day because uh, that gets redundant, but this is what I'm going to be using pretty much all week. For mascara, I used my Tarte Man Eater. I did go ahead and add that brown wing liner like I said I was going to. Obviously, you guys can see it, but I used my Benefit Roller Liner in the shade Brown. They are not even at all. Like, they're not even cousins right now. I feel like they're not even in the same family tree, so please just ignore that. Thank you very much. For lips, I used my Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Honey Beige. I lined my lips and then filled it all in and then went over it with my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. And then last but not least, I set it all down with my Prime and Fine Anti-Shine Fixing Spray, the matte finish from Catrice. Overall, I feel like this was a really great start to the week. I really like this eye look. I love this palette in general, so I'm excited to keep doing looks for you guys throughout the rest of the week. So I will see you in one second for day two. Alrighty, we are back for day two. As you can see, we are starting off with my e.l.f. eye tapes. I have such a love-hate relationship with these things. I love them because they give me such a crisp, sharp line, but I hate them because they irritate my eyes while I have them on and I can never get them even. But that's okay. We're going to go a little like smoky and not vampy, but like smoky and can I think of any other adjective? Glam? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> We're going to try to get into this blue shade today and probably a little bit of this one as well. But before that, we are going to start off with this Montreux shade up here and put that in my crease. I have a vision in my mind. Will that come true? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try though. So I'm just putting this down as like a base layer shade. It does not have a whole lot of pigmentation. Next, I'm gonna go into this slope shade up here and also put that into the crease. This is a little bit deeper and more pigmented of a shade. So I'm gonna go, yeah, really lightly, light pressure, light amount, so we can build it up. Yeah, I don't want it to be too intense at first. I'm gonna fluff a little bit of it on the outer corner as well, not a lot just to give it a little something something. Ooh, the shade is blending out really nicely. I like that a lot. Next, we're going to put glitter primer all over my lid. And then what I wanna do is put this shimmer on the inner half and this blue shade on the outer half. And then I wanna take probably a, a mixture of this nightfall and slope shade and kind of like smoke out a wing is my envision. All right, we'll see how it looks. So I'm gonna put glitter primer on and then those two shades are Alps right here and then Brisk. So I'm gonna take Alps on my index finger and Brisk on my middle finger. And we're just going to start laying those two shades down. We'll worry about meshing them together in the middle in a little bit. I just wanna put them down first. Then we'll start meshing them together here in the middle, going back and forth, really making sure there's no harsh lines. All right, we're gonna take this little smudgy brush from BK Beauty, and like I said, we're gonna mix together this slope shade, and then this black shade is called Nightfall. And I just kinda wanna smoke this out. We'll see how this turns out. I'm not entirely sure. I don't mind if it's like pretty thick, yeah, along the lash line, and kind of meshes up into the two shimmers. Next, I'm gonna take the Brisk shade on a flat brush and we're gonna wet it with some um, spray. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And I just wanna like re-emphasize this outer corner, kind of mesh it together with, ooh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I like that. Okay, I just did that on accident, but I like that. I'm taking that like shimmer, blue shimmer and making like a wing out of it. That was impromptu, but I like how that looks a lot. Ooh, okay, cool. And then I am gonna take a little bit more of this Alps shade and re-emphasize that. This is not really what I had envisioned, but I like it. Ooh! I, I actually really like that a lot. Again, that's not what I was picturing, but like, I like this more than I think what I was picturing. Cool, okay, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna leave the eye there for now. <laughs> to the other eye, the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back with the finished look. And here is the final look for you guys. I am in love with how this eye look turned out. I mean, it definitely wasn't what I had envisioned in my mind, but I feel like it came out so much better. And I don't do this like wing with shimmer or anything like that. I don't think I've ever made an eye look like this. It's definitely unique for me, but I really love the shape and how it makes my eyes look. So I'm definitely going to recreate this like sort of shape with the shimmer wing with other palettes and other colors. Cause I am really, really digging how it looks. And I love how those two shades just look together, the blue and that like icy 
gray taupey sort of shade mm, so good to finish up my lower lash line all i did was ran together that slope in that um montreux shade and just ran a little bit along my lower lash line i kind of wanted to leave it blank but i had way too much creasing going on so i couldn't for the rest of my makeup, my primer was my Huda Beauty. This is their Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. Then for foundation, I used my RCMA Liquid Foundation. I hate this foundation, you guys. The only reason I used it is because I want to do an upcoming like foundation roundup of all the different complexion products I've tried over the last month or two. I have like five or six to go through. So I want to give them another go to kind of like refresh my memory and then also have like application shots of me applying the foundation. So I'm going to be using like all my newish ones over the week of, you know, filming this video. Um, and I use this one today and I, spoiler alert for that video coming up, I freaking hate this foundation so much for concealer i use my shiseido concealer set everything down with my beauty bakery flower powder bronzer was my l'oreal lumi bronze bronzer for cheeks i use this charlotte tilbury cheek to cheek blush this is in the shade walk of no shame i had to go very very light-handed because it is deep and berry and pigmented but i think it's really pretty if you do go in with like a light wash of it and then for highlight i use my nabla ozone highlight mascara was tarte man eater i then use my natasha denona i need a nude lipstick in the shade natasha i opted for not using a lip liner i just wanted like a really nudie sort of lip to have the eyes do all the talking and then i set it all down with my kimchi chic stage proof matte setting spray so like I said, I actually really love how this look turned out. I think it is really beautiful and glam and like something different for me. And I really, really like it. I do. I'm glad that I kind of actually made that a shimmer wing, not going to lie. But that is all for day two. I will see you in a second for day three. We're back for day three. Please ignore my hair because I decided to be lazy yesterday and straighten it instead of curl it like I probably should have slash wanted to but didn't want to because I was being lazy. Now I'm stuck with it being straight for the next couple of days before I wash it again and I couldn't bother with it today. So in a ponytail it went. We're going to play with the greens today, which I'm excited about because I love green eyeshadow. Like I love green eyeshadow so stinking much. But before we get into the greens, we're going to go into this one. I was debating between the two, but I think we're going to take Montreux. And that's going into my crease. This really doesn't show up very much, huh? Yeah, not really. Maybe I should. Okay, we're dipping into fondue, the one next door. Because this shows up a little bit more. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think we needed all three of these. Just in my humble opinion. But they're there, so uh, we're going to use them. Actually, I'd never reach into snow cap, the white one. Okay, that one's showing up a lot better. Now we're going to take this mountain shade and we're going to put that into the crease as well. I love this like deep, huntery, dark green sort of shade. I usually love how it looks on my eyes. We're just going to build this one up a little bit. It can be pretty sloppy with it. Take it down on the lid a little bit as well. We're going to put a shimmer all over the lid anyway, so doesn't need to be too precise. All right, that blended out really nicely. I like how that looks. We're now going to take NYX Glitter Primer and put it all over the lid, like so, over the entire lid. All right, now we're going to take this shade right here, Mount Riggy, Mount Rigi, I'm not sure. This green shimmer shade, tap that all over the lid. Again, I don't have to be too precise or careful with this. I don't mind if it goes up into the crease. I don't mind if it like gets kind of everywhere. Alrighty, so I'm really liking how this is looking. I was thinking about taking one of these two shimmer shades and tapping it in the middle just to try to use all of the shades for you guys. I'm hoping I can use all 16 by the end of it. Well, really 15 because I'm like not really going to use snow cap. It's just, I'm not going to use that. Uh, but I actually really like how this looks. I don't want to... Um, add a shimmer. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm probably going to add a winged liner, a brown winged liner, which sorry about that. I know this is going to be the third day in a row where I have some sort of like winged out kind of look. I know not everyone likes winged liner or wears it all the time, but I personally really like how it looks on my eyes. And I think that a look like this just needs something. It's beautiful on its own, but since it's like all green and shimmer, it just needs a little something to ground it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go do the other eye, the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. And here is the final look for day three. Again, I really, really love how this look turned out. I think that that shimmery green shade is really, really pretty. Just a forewarning though, I do have quite a bit of fallout on my face. Like I have the little specks of like gold glitter from this eyeshadow literally all over my face. So I just want to warn you if you do use this shadow, 
you might have glitter all over your face for the rest of the day. To finish up my lower lash line, I just mixed together that mountain shade, the green one, with that Montreux shade and ran it along the lower lash line. The rest of my makeup for primer, I use my Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. Then I use my Wet n Wild Tinted High Gerator on top. I have the shade Porcelain, Shiseido Concealer, and Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. My L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. Sorry, I have some repeats, but for blush, I use my Patrick Ta. This is his Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade Shiso LA. I put the powder on first and then the cream on top. I love this blush duo. Oh my gosh, I literally want every single solitary shade he has in this. Then for highlighter, I use my Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Flash um, highlighting palette. I know this is not available anymore, but I mixed together these three highlighters. Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I did add that brown wing liner, like I said, with the Benefit Roller Liner in the brown shade. For lips, I used my Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her lip liner in the shade Bourbon, and then I topped it with my Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade Send Nudes. And lastly, I set it all down with my Catrice Matte Prime and Fine Anti Shine Fixing Spray. So, I really... I really like this look, I'm not gonna lie. Is it my favorite of the three so far? Mm, I kind of think so, but I have enjoyed all three of the looks that I've made so far with this palette, so I'm excited to keep using it the rest of the week. I've got two more days. I definitely want to reach into these cranberry shades, and then I don't know what else. I guess the fifth day will be a little bit of a surprise. So, you know the drill. I'll see you in a second for day four. And we're back for day four. We're gonna play it with the like maroony sort of berry shades today, which I'm excited about. I love those tones. So we're first going to start off with this one right here called Lucerne and put that into my crease. I'm gonna try to go pretty lightly. I don't want it to be too dark and intense. I wanna be able to build it up. Ooh, I like that shade. We're going to add a little bit more, start putting it on the outer corner. I have made this look quite a few times with this palette so hopefully it turns out cute i mean i feel like every other time i've made it i've enjoyed it so hopefully today is not any different <laughs> add a little bit more to the outer corner just keep blending it out i really like how soft this shade is it's like a really soft berry tone it's really pretty then we're going to go next door here to yodel and deepen what we just did really pack it on the outer corner Start blending it into the crease a little bit. These shades are really similar, but they definitely do give enough difference in gradation and dimension. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna keep packing this Yodel shade on. Back in with a little bit of Lucerne. Yeah, Lucerne. Just really make sure there's no harsh lines. Next, we're gonna take my glitter primer, put that on the inner half of my eye. And then we're gonna take this beautiful shimmer right here called Zurich and put that on top. Ooh, this shade is really pretty. And I like that it's a little bit different than the maroony mattes. Like it's a little bit lighter. It has a tiny bit of like a taupey different undertone. I think the three of these pair together like perfectly. Like when you're looking at this palette, like come on. That is like an eye look begging to be made. <laughs> A little bit more of Yodel to re-emphasize this outer corner. And then no extra product on our brush, but we're just going to buff this all out. And there you have it, guys. Pretty easy eye look, but I think it's really pretty and impactful. And I feel like it looks like I tried a lot harder and I took a lot more time on my eyes than I actually did. And it was only three shades. So I'm going to go do the other eye, rest of my makeup, be right back. And here is the final look for day four for you guys. I really, really like how this look turned out. I'm not gonna lie, those three shadows, like I said, just go together so perfectly, it's not even funny. Like, they just look so pretty together. To finish up the lower lash line, all I did was ran this Lucerne shade along the whole lower lash line. The rest of my makeup was my Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas, my Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I have the shade 02 Neutral Ivory, and also the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. And in this, I have the shade 001 Neutral Swan. Set it all down with my Flower Powder, L'Oreal Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. For blush, I used my Essence The Blush in the shade Believing. 
setting. Then for a highlight, I use my Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam. Brows were the duo I mentioned earlier in the week, Tarte Maneater. Lips were my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Oh Snap. I filled in my whole lips with it, but then I topped it with the Fenty Beauty Cream Lip Gloss in the shade Moth Wives. And then I set it all down with my Catrice Matte Finish Prime and Fine Fixing Spray. So like I said, I really like how this look turned out. I love these type of tones on my fair skin. I think they just look really flattering. I love a good like burgundy wine, purpley, pinky sort of moment. You guys know that about me. That is all for our day four. We only have one day left. I'm kind of sad. I have no idea what look I'm going to make tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. Um, I pretty much used almost every shade in the palette. So there's not really one. I mean, other than the um, silver shade, which I don't know if I'll get into that tomorrow because I'm filming before work tomorrow and today. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure yet. I guess we will see tomorrow my time, a couple of seconds, your time. See you then. And just like that, it is day five. I have been staring down at this palette, trying to decide what I want to do. I think I've decided. I think I have decided. So we are going to go in with Lucerne first here. And we're going to lightly put that into our crease. This isn't going to be the focal point of the look, but I just kind of want like a really pretty wash of purpley pink at the top. I think I am going to try to get into that Silver Glacier Express shade. It's really the only shade I haven't used minus Snow Cap for you guys, and I really wanted to try to use all of them, so. Alrighty, next we're going to take Slope, and we're going to put that on the inner half and the outer half of my eye and up into the crease a little bit. If this isn't deep enough, I will go ahead and tap into Nightfall, but I don't want it to be like too deep and dark. We're just gonna put it on the outer portion as well as the inner. We're gonna do a halo eye, put some into the crease as well. I'll probably have to go back in with that Lucerne shade to bring that purpley pink back. All right, I am going to slightly tap into the black Nightfall shade, not very much, and I'll probably tap back into slope as well so like one tap of nightfall and like two of slope just because yeah i wanted it to be a little bit deeper but like i said not too deep all right now i'm wiping my brush off i'm gonna go back into slope kind of go over this lighten it back up a little bit all righty now we're gonna go back into that lucerne shade and bring that back since we kind of lost it then we're gonna put NYX Glitter Primer on the middle portion of our eye, and we're gonna go into this really beautiful silvery shade called Glacier Express. Just put a little tiny bit of glitter glue in the middle. And then Glacier Express, I've used this shade multiple times, and it is really, it's a really pretty shade. It's like a really like pretty gunmetally gray, silver, but not too silver to where it's like bright and bold in your face. Back in with a little bit of slope to make sure there's no harsh lines. Lucerne one more time. I like that. I kind of wish that middle was a little bit poppier and punchier. So I'm going to take it on like a flat brush and we are going to spray it with my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And we're just going to tap it in the middle and see if we can make it a little bit more impactful. I feel like that did a little something maybe. Yeah. And even if it didn't, I'm going to say, did it make myself feel better? Actually, I really do think that did a little something something. Just made it a little bit more impactful. Not a lot, but... Alrighty, I like it. I'm leaving it there now. Other eye, rest of my makeup. Be right back. And here is the final look for day five for you guys. Unsurprisingly, I really, really love how this look turned out. I really do. I love that like pop of silver in the middle, but the hint of like pinky at the top. I am loving this look, but I love this palette. So I'm not surprised that I genuinely loved like all five of the looks. To finish this one up, all I did was rain a little bit of that Lucerne. I did tap into Snowcap to kind of like tone it down a little bit. I didn't want it to be too purpley at the bottom. Uh, so I mixed these two together for my lower lash line. The rest of my makeup was my Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas, and then my Neutrogena Flawless Matte CC Cream. Then I used my Shiseido Concealer, set it all down with my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder, L'Oreal Lumi Bronze Bronzer. Then I used my Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush. Then my MAC, what exactly is this called? Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle. 
Maneater Mascara. Then I used my ColourPop Cool BFF lip liner all over my lips and topped it with this Dior. This is their Rouge Dior lipstick in the shade 220 Beige Couture. And then I set it all down with my Catrice Matte Finish Setting Spray. I'm in love with this palette. I truly am. I think that the color story is beautiful. I think the quality is there. The shimmers are wonderful. The mattes don't really get patchy or fluff away on me. Like I truly had such a fun time playing with this palette all this week for you guys. Like I said, I loved all five of the looks. I don't even know if I could pick a favorite. Maybe day two because that was such a different sort of eye look for me. I'd never done an eye look like that, but I love the green look. I love the purple one yesterday. I love this one today with like the cool tones and the silver and all of that. Let me know down below what your favorite look was though, which of the five you loved the most. I highly recommend this palette. I truly do. I know, like I said in the beginning, BH obviously filed for bankruptcy. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're gonna stop making makeup or if they're like completely going out of business. My advice to you would be if you have your eye on this palette or any other palette from them or their brushes, I've heard the brushes are really great. I've tried them a long time ago, like almost a decade at this point. So I can't really speak to them now. But if you have your eye on something from BH Cosmetics, I would go ahead and pick it up. A, because I don't know how much longer it will be around and available for you to pick up. And B, it will maybe show the brand like no, there's still interest in the brand just because they maybe their profits are a little bit lower. We don't want them to go away forever. You really can vote with your dollars. So I am so glad I was able to bring this one week one palette to you guys. Finally, I know I talked about it a really long time ago. I'm glad I finally did it for you guys. Let me know down below. Do you have this palette? Do you have your eye on it? Do you think you're going to pick it up or any other BH palettes? I'm nosy. I love hearing from you guys down below in the comments. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. And I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.